Good evening. Today is October 25th, 2018. Welcome to the Ruben Hoare Library Board of Trustee meetings. Uh, we're going to start our meeting with public participation. We do not have any public participation, so we're going to move on to correspondence. Any correspondence? No. Uh, new business. Holiday book program. Okay, so um, we're going to do a holiday book program where we uh, create book covers that we'll put on display and patrons can come in and choose a book that they would like to um, purchase to um, basically in honor of someone as a Christmas gift. And then we'll purchase the book, put a nameplate in it, and say whatever it is the person wants it to say from, from who, and uh, yeah. So we're planning to do that, and then Helen wanted to do something. I just thought if we did it from the same day we did like um, some type of ecumenical holiday open mm -hmm. house, a uh, group of women approached me from the Acton Chorus, mm -hmm. and they would be willing to come in and sing some type of different type of holiday songs. And I thought if we did that as an open house type meet and greet, at the same time we put out the books, it, yeah, people can come, have some holiday spirit, and find mm -hmm. something in honor of a teacher or whatever to purchase a book from. That was really all I had to say about it. Do you have a roundabout cost to, right now? Um, no, we, we can take it out. Of the, yeah, yeah, we can. We can okay. Take it, yeah. Because you're asking people to purchase. Right. Right. Oh. right. right. So people are purchasing okay. books. Course is free. Mm -hmm. So it's just that something to put out. Okay. Is this something that we need to vote on? Okay. All right. Perfect. Um, funds for I read past my bedtime favors and T-shirts. Right. So I believe the T-shirts came out to fifteen hundred. So last year when we purchased T-shirts, they were six dollars a piece. <clears throat> uh, when we inquired about uh, one color or two colors, the one colors I believe were nine dollars and seven cents per shirt and two colors was $9.79 per shirt. So I circled back and said, wow, this is quite a bit more than it was last year. And he explained that cotton prices are through the roof, and he's being charged $2 extra per shirt. Um, so we have a choice. We've already allotted $1,000. We can either buy about 100 a, a shirts and sell them for $15, or we could buy 150 shirts and sell them still for $15, but we would need another $500 in funds. Um, we had from last year left over um, youth, small, medium, and large. We had about 15 of each left over um, and one lady small. So I tried to um, decrease a little bit the kid sizes because clearly they were not selling for as much and bump up a little bit on the men's and women's t-shirts because those were all but for that one sold out. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have strong feelings about it one way or the other. Um, it could be the case that uh, different people come to the I Read Past My Bedtime um, and think the shirts are really cute. Cheryl uh, Hardy Faraci has drawn a really adorable, I don't know, like little cute alien kind of creature <laughs> thing that um, will be part of the shirt. And um, so I, I don't know if there are going to be people who are repeats who say, oh, we already have a shirt. So it's up to all of you what you want to do. I can take the 1,000 that we've allotted and order 100 shirts, or we can bump it up to 1,500. I vote for, well, I guess my thought is just take the 1,000 that we've already allotted and 500. I mean, that kind of, I don't know. How many how did we sell last year? Do we know what the total was? Uh, we, we ordered, hundred I think, 150 shirts. No, that can't be right. L let me quick do the math on that because it was like it was about a thousand dollars that we allotted. L let me do the math. Let me take out my phone where there's a calculator. Um, so I think we I think we allotted like a hundred nine hundred dollars divided by six. I think we ordered 150 shirts last year. So if we ordered 100 and we had 45 left, we're about at 150. Yes. We sold yeah. last year's. Yes. So we sold about a hundred last year, right? Okay. So if you all think it makes sense to only order that many, that's totally fine. But it's, it's going to eat through the entire $1,000, or it's going to eat through $979. Okay. 
How many sizes are we ordering? I mean, um, I'm wondering if 100 covers enough of, if you're going to be short on sizes somehow, right? If you need. Yeah. Um, well, I could try to skew up the adult shirts and skew down the kids' shirts based on the remainders that we have. That sounds like a good idea. I'm wondering right. if 125 might be a compromise number that somewhere, like something in that range would be better. So, you know, we'd have enough, um, but we're not, you know, if, if we've ordered 150 and sold 100 again, then we're left with 100 shirts from the two years effectively, right? So. Uh, Ten bucks a shirt. Yeah, That's correct. Right. So you'd need another $250 to buy if, extra. Yeah, if, if we agree that Mark's middle okay. middling number is I, I don't I, I don't really don't care yeah. you know the thing about it is that we can also sell last year's shirts that we purchased for six dollars at a discount maybe sell them for 12 bucks instead of 15 that would be a good idea and um, and still make a six dollar profit versus a five dollar and 21 cent profit on this year's shirts so I mean it all goes to the building fund so y you know you have to you have to spend money to make money I'm told. <laughs> okay, so we could entertain, we could have a motion to allocate another $250 to, or? Well, they want other things too, right? Yeah, we want favors. Okay. So, um, so uh, they also want to have favors at the event. Um, Sarah's going to try to get favors for a, a, at least a dollar okay. each. Um, they estimate between 75 and 100 kids there, so if we could get about $100 or up to $100 okay. for favors. So we can do we can go for thirteen fifty or we could go for sixteen hundred, essentially. Well, we already allocated a thousand dollars last. So we need year. between another hundred and okay. six hundred dollars, depending on right. what we want to do for the right. Shirts. Right. Okay. Is there a market for the shirts all the time? Yeah, people are always coming in and asking for shirts. Then let's go the whole boat. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Fifteen hundred for the shirts? Is that what you're saying? Or that's what I'm saying. And are people are, are people are buying them. Yeah, yeah. People are okay. Buying them. The only yeah. recommendation is to buy more big ones right. than yeah. because mm -hmm. you can always wear a t-shirt too big, but the little ones become yeah, too grow. small. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, so all right, so it's like the three bears. Um, I make a motion that we allocate six hundred dollars, six hundred six hundred dollars, for um, additional t-shirts and favors. Six hundred dollars. In addition, in addition. in addition to the thousand okay. that's already right. needed last time. I'll second that. It needs a second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay. So we uh, we will be allocating additional six hundred dollars for favors and T-shirts. Early closings on November twenty-first, December twenty-fourth, and December thirty-first. So the twenty-first is Thanksgiving Eve, that Wednesday before. Uh, we normally we close at 4, so I'm asking if we can close at 4 again. And then December 21st, 4th, and December 31st, New, uh, thank, uh, Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve are Mondays. So we usually close at 4 anyway. Mm -hmm. um, can we close at maybe 1 that day? Do we have to open? That's on Christmas Eve. That's up to you guys. <laughs> Must we open on Christmas Eve? Which uh, the, which of those days are any of those days school holidays? Are we out off school those days? They're off school both of those days. Yeah, I would yeah. think so. Well, definitely the well, 31st. 30. Yeah, yeah 31st, normally yeah. there's no school in the 24th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So usually... Um, Monday, they'll yeah. be released on Friday. Yes. Right. Right. It's a Monday. Right, that's yeah. true. Yeah. They're not going to go in for a half day, right? Right. right. No. So they, they don't just, go in on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Just, yeah. just no, kind of... just on Monday. Right. They just count. They just yeah. cut it off at Friday. Okay. Um... So, so I don't have a problem with closing at four on the twenty-first and one o'clock on the twenty-fourth. I'm not sure I agree on the thirty-first because New Year's Eve isn't so much the holiday, and you're out by four anyway. So, it's not like you're here that late. Um, um, but the other two days, I don't have a problem with. I'm still in favor of closing for the whole day on the twenty-fourth. That opens up a whole nother can of worms. Um. <coughs> So usually how we've handled it in the past is that staff who have um, vacation time, they take the vacation time. And staff who don't get vacation time, we just kind of move them into different spots so they don't lose hours. So they still get the hours. Right. They just. 
So they're looking for the work during those days. Yeah, correct? they still okay. get paid All right. for this. All right. So, so can, can I ask, are there any plans in the town offices for closing on the 24th? They tell us like the day before. We, we never know. So I'm assuming there will be. Well, you'll have a new administrator next mm -hmm. week, so you right. can ask. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so the numbers that you put uh, for, uh, was it 1 o'clock on the 21st or 4? On the one o'clock on the twenty first. Yeah, the twenty fourth. Yeah, the day before Thanksgiving before. Four. Okay. And one o'clock on the twenty fourth? Right. Yes. And 31st. on the thirty first? One o'clock? Okay, I make a motion that we do that. Those numbers there was four four one and one. Can I make a suggestion that we do the twenty first now and you do the others at the next meeting? Or we can change them or we can change them at the next meeting. When you because you'll you can talk to Anthony and see what the plans are for the town hall for those mm -hmm. days because you might as well if they're if they're closing on the early on the 24th then, or not opening on the 24th then mm -hmm. then that's a fair for us as well um, and you have some more time since it's in December right okay. okay and we are meeting on November 8th okay okay so we have one motion to make regarding November 21st I'll make a motion that we close at 4 o'clock on November 21st I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay. Uh, we are going to circle back to the top line item in new business, which is the fiscal year 2020 budget. Okay. So for fiscal year 2020, um, I've done the regular increase in steps for payroll. Um, so those are the numbers plus um, because it's a leap year. <laughs> It's a little bit more too, and then um, as far as the other lines in the level budget, it's pretty much a standard three percent increase, three to four percent increase that I've done across the board. Um, as far as books go, as far as all the other expenses, I've increased it by what we increased, what we had last year, basically, because that's usually what they go for in the town, basically. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the normal fifteen thousand dollars from the trust um so that would create a mar requirement of 127 354 for next year um so with what we would get in books trust and what we normally get from friends that will cover the cost mm -hmm. um for the mission budget if are there any questions about level I, I had one i had a question on the friends amount um it went from eight thousand to three thousand in the level and to seven thousand in the mission the right. reason it's not flat um i decreased it to three thousand just because um that's what it added up to to cover the mar and also because the friends tend to want to give more money towards programming and um they've been working towards giving money towards the building project so i thought that would free up some funds i thought but if they're buying aren't they buying the museum passes and that those have a fixed cost to them right yeah we can still take them out of other budget lines because it the, the book budget there's only so many books we can keep buying <laughs> so if we can add we can take that money for other things that would be helpful too okay. any other questions so for the mission budget um, I requested an increase in hours for Helen from 30 to 35, just to reflect all the great work she does at the library, and um, I think it would be helpful. <laughs> and uh, also, I um, would change one of the library assistants into a library tech um, at 14 hours, and increase the hours for two of the library assistants from six hours to 10 hours. Mm -hmm. So that's where the 444 comes from. And then the rest, um, office supplies, because we're always what we get in office supplies never really covers what we need. Um, same thing for travel. Travel is used for uh, staff to go to committee meetings and workshops. And so those costs are always high. And other expenses for processing supplies, things like book covers. And the more books we have to buy, the more processing supplies we need. So that's why it's increased. And then uh, MVLC is how much, that amount is how much they've, uh, told me that they'll, they'll need for a, a fee for next year, 36600 So on the salary increases, you said you're, you want more hours for Helen. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. 
And then you said an assistant to attack. Is right. that increasing the hours for that or just changing the position? Changing the position. Okay. And, and then raising the hours of two others. Mm -hmm. So um, since we lost Linda last year, we're down effectively a senior position, right? So right. why don't we ask for the assistant to tech in the level budget to put us back to where we were? Okay. Thank you. I, 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 how, much, how expensive, how much is that raising the level? Um, Approximately. So Linda's salary was around <coughs> Seventeen to twenty thousand dollars. So, but you're not asking for seventeen to twenty. You're asking for the difference between. Right. So it's a probably it's a couple five, thousand. Yeah, it's like five thousand. Five. So six. I would recommend we ask for that in the level budget since it's effectively what we had before. Mm -hmm. um, and then ask for the others. In the in the mission budget. Anything else? My other comment just on the friends and the gift money is like whether it counts to the MAR or not, I'd like to just see it allocated somewhere so we can actually see how much we're spending. Right. We can break the friends out and it doesn't have to I mean it doesn't have to go to Bonnie or whatever person. Well, it'd be nice to be recorded somewhere like in the annual report how much we're actually spending on the library that's not in the budget. Right. Um, like gifts are hard to put in the I mean, you're obviously spending money out of the gifts to cover things, but it's hard to put in the budget because you don't know what the gift right. budget is, right? right? And when we spend things out of the MMDT to cover expenses, right? I mean, the things like for the T-shirts doesn't count, but when we're paying other things, <coughs> that should come out of somewhere. The T-shirts aren't in a library expense. They're a different, mm. if that all makes sense. It would be nice to actually have a real accounting for what we're spending for the annual library outside of the what we do for the fundraising por portions. I think you were talking about, which is a great idea we should bring up, is that when you met with Eric, they're talking about asking MBLC to mm -hmm. include the pro programming costs that we incur and that right. you're um, funding this year as part of our mark because that's, we should keep a track of what that cost is because if we can count it toward the MAR, then that's money that helps us reach it. Right. Like, well, we allocated a couple thousand dollars for programming that's no, nowhere reflected in this budget. Well, it's, but it's not been approved to be counted for the MAR. Right. I'm not saying whether, whether it's, it would be nice if it's counted for the MAR, but even if it's not counted for the MAR, it should be counted for somewhere. Right. Because if we didn't give you the money for the programming, then the programming dries up. Right. Um, so it would be nice if, it, and it's not in the budget that gets voted in May. It could be in the budget that's in the annual report that says, in addition to the money allocated by the town at the town meeting, you know, we spent the trustees allocated this for programming, and the friends allocated this, and we spent this out of gift funds and things. It can just be reflected in the annual report because no one's going to vote on how much the friends spend at town meeting. They don't really get to say, right? right? But it would be nice to actually have a full accounting somewhere. That, that part. Yeah. All right. Well, I can put that in the annual, annual report. That that would be fine. But and it and it's fine. And I, I like to see it on these spreadsheets too. But it's not, you know, it's not necessarily what you're reporting to Bonnie. Mm -hmm. um, right. And then um, for the capital budget, if we're going to go for the building project, I'm going to have to put that in, um, in my report. To Bonnie. So um, the estimated total cost for the building when we did the estimation for the, for the grant, it came out to $13,173,554. Um, with the grant, that's five, uh, minus grant and minus what we've raised in f for fundraising so far, just from what I have from the last report, that comes out to $6.9 million. Um, when we get the grant, when we actually get the grant, it's not given out all at once. It's given out in, at 20% over five years. Mm -hmm. So we have to decide, are we going to ask for the whole $13.1 million um, at May Town Meeting? Do, do I put that in my report to Bonnie? Um, what do we want to Doesn't the town have to bond the entire 13? Yep. So. Um, I would figure out 
How did they do it with the schools? Because the schools had to have the same type of issue when they built the new schools, right? Because they were paid by the state through our grants, too. Or the school building, I don't remember what the name of the school building projects had to do the same thing. I would assume that they were funded in the same way, so. Is this something we need to decide or vote on tonight, or can we get some of that historical background about how the schools have done it? So I have to submit my report to Bonnie by October 31st. So yes, um, I can. <laughs> <laughs> so she said that we did not need to approve it, that I could submit it with pending approval from the okay. trustees. So we could do that. Well, you. let's put in the full number then. I would okay. put the full number in and tell her that you're expecting X from the grant. And right. so far, we've raised this much in fundraising. We're hoping to, in, you know, we have this much in our fundraising account. We have this much in pledges. We're hoping to get this much more. Okay. You need a motion? Okay. Wait. Before we go, it, you don't have any, any capital request for the existing library for this year, new furniture or anything? We're not. No. So. I, <laughs> um, we're kind of looking for things to spend, you know, the the money that we do get. Um, like we're we're gonna redo the Y A room, and we're gonna redo the the DVD area for right now. Um, I can't really think of anything that is right. pending. <laughs> Ellen needs a cushy chair for her extra right. hours. <laughs> we don't have any time. We're out of time. We're out of time. Yeah. Yeah. So. And plus, it gets hard because there's gonna be new furniture in the new library. So. Like, you don't want to spend I don't want to spend a lot of money on furniture and having that match and right. <laughs> okay. So would oh. someone like to make an motion to approve this um, fiscal year 2020 budget? Uh, I'll make a motion that we approve the fiscal year 2020 budget with the modification for the uh, assistant tech on the level budget and the capital budget as Sam project presented. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay. Old business. Executive session to discuss scholarship applicants. <coughs> so the purpose of this meeting tonight was not only to discuss the FY 2020 budget, but to also go into executive session. Um, the reason for the Board of Trustees for going into executive session is stated in section 21.8 of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts laws relating to state officers. And those read as such, a public body may meet in executive session for the following purpose, to consider or interview applicants for employment or appointment by a preliminary screening committee if the chair declares that an open meeting will have a detrimental effect in obtaining qualified applicants, provided, however, that this clause shall not apply to any meeting, including meetings of a preliminary screening committee, to consider and interview applicants who have passed a prior preliminary screening. So basically, our purpose of executive session tonight is to discuss the qualifications and or advantages and disadvantages of the applicants who attended our October 4th meeting and interviewed for the Ray Grandy Memorial Scholarship and choose one recipient for the scholarship based on review. Having this discussion in an open session will be detrimental to the public body's ability to obtain qualified applicants for the position. The public body, us being the trustees, will reconvene in open session at the end of the executive session to close the meeting. At this time, I'm going to take roll call to um, announce who will be attending this executive session. I, I, well, we have to make a motion to go to executive session okay. and take a roll call, right? Okay. A motion to go to executive session. And then, uh, I, second, I. Oh, I, David Silk, I'm here. I, Demetra Taylor. I, Chris Aslan. And <clears throat> as my son Asher is an applicant for the scholarship, I am recusing myself and am now leaving the room. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, you don't turn it off, they just put up a, a screen and they turn off the audio. Okay. You sure? Yeah.
and I can. You make sure you guys are coming back, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know. You don't need me here either, right? I mean. Yeah, you do have to. Yeah. You have to keep the minutes. Right. It's a separate set of minutes. Okay.
Good evening. We are reconvening from our executive session, and at this time, we are going to take a, ro a roll call and then close the meeting. Mark, hi, here, whatever. David Sill, here. Demetra Taylor is here. Chris Aston's here. Janet Brownson is, has recused herself and is not here. So, um, if, is there anything else? No. Okay. Um, That's it for now. In that case, um, our next motion. Monday. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Okay. Oh, sure. <laughs> Sorry. We could just we could just mention the next meeting. That's what I was about to do. Um, I was just going to say that our next meeting is Monday, November fifth. 2018 at 6 30 p.m. in room 103. This is a joint session with the Board of Selectmen to fill the vacancy for our um, library trustee spot. Is it at 6 30? I thought we were meeting them at 7 30. I thought they convened at 6 30 and we were oh. convening with them at 7 30. But okay, that's what I may I have gotten the times wrong. That's what I think so. they posted, but Okay. Not 100%. Well, it's right. Whatever's posted is the time, right. so we'll find that out. Okay. All right. But if you are um, interested in attending the Board of Selectmen meeting, they will be meeting at 6.30 at room 103. Would someone like to make an, a motion to adjourn the meeting? I believe Mark did. I'll second it. Mm -hmm. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? The meeting is closed. The meeting is closed.